What's up, everybody? Welcome on back into the Nerd Castle. It's time for us to check out some more indie games. Today, we're checking out Gaia Beyond. I think this game came out around about 2018, and I think we played one of the earliest access alphas of it. The game's been quietly plodding along. I do try to make an effort to loop back and kind of check back in on games about every year or so, every six months to a year or so. Uh, I have like a list of sort of a rotation just in case it's a content light week or whatever so we can check back in on things. Uh, this one, it's been years and years. And so anyways, if you don't know what it is, it's a space-bound top-down action RPG uh, with spaceships. And as I recall, I very, very much liked it the first time that I checked it on out. So anyways, let's dive on in, give it a look. We gotta pick a portrait out here. This guy looks like he just spied like a big pile of candy behind the camera. You're like, ooh, big pile of candy. What else we got going on? We got any other like profile images? Of the, that, I mean, I guess that one kind of looks like me a little bit. He does have sort of a Curious George quality that I feel I share. All right, let's go for it. Uh, we'll name ourselves Splatty. Perfect. All right, so our place of birth. Apparently we can be born on Earth. We can be born on Neptune. Or we can be burned on Mercury. Hmm, apparently we get a different ship, too. Alright, so we start with a well-balanced shuttle if we do that one. This one right here will make us weaker but faster. And this one will make us stronger but slower. I guess I'll just go with the balanced one, I suppose? I don't know what the right choice is, or if there even is one. So in that case, I'm almost always going to go for balanced. Alright, we got to talk to Auxilium the Instructor. To Oxilium. How does it feel to be free, Splatty? Eh, it feels good to be in space. I waited a long time for this. I remember the first time I took off from Earth in my shuttle. Wish I could be back again. I mean, you're still young enough to have some adventures, Auxilium. Maybe, but I've had my share. It's good to get some rest. By the way, we should probably test your piloting skills one last time before we head back. Alright, let's go. Let's do this thing. So apparently I just tootle around, so there you go. Can I shoot my guns? I want to shoot my space guns! I want to fire my weapons at the vacuum. Good job. You getting used to the controls? Yeah. Looks like it. I'm going to tell you a secret. During my first training mission, I crashed into an asteroid. <laughs> you suck, old man. So, you see that old drone over there? It's a leftover from the machine war. Let's test your shooting skills on it. Try to destroy it with your primary weapon. I'm gonna. I'm gonna destroy the hell out of this thing. Doesn't even know me like that. This thing's gonna get wrecked. Oh, is that the wrong... Oh, there's a drone over here. Hold on. I wanted me to kill the asteroid. Hold on. I thought I was... There we go. There we go. Boom. Took out. Good job. You're learning quickly. Keep up like this and you might overtake the old auxilium one day. But you gotta be careful. There's way bigger threats out there these days than a helpless piece of debris. If you ever run into trouble, come see us at the workshop. We've got reliable stuff for little money. We'll fix broken engines. Anyways, head back. Talk to Zopa now. Try to select Pluto on your map so that we can head home. Alright, so I can use the map to navigate? Oh, uh, we just go like straight on out. There you go. And before we forget, you've got a quick bar at the bottom of your screen. It's gonna have important information about your ship and surroundings. Alright, cool. Am I following him? Oh, I guess I'm just following him. Alright. Oh, you autopilot. Alright, autopilot. Hold on. Can I, like, lock on? There we go. There we go. I knew I'd figure it out. It works pretty much the uh, the way you would expect it to work. I see that there's a box telling me exactly how to make it work at the top of the screen, but you know what? We're not quitters like that. You there. The Caduceus is ordering you to stop your vest. Caduceus? <laughs> you got Dookie in your ship's name, bro. Have you had your blood examined yet? The air around Pluto is contaminated. The Ganymede flu is spreading, and we're here to contain it. Uh, I feel pretty healthy. Mr. Shiro, Dr. Norton X has been calling. He needs to see you immediately. Something about rats and dogs. I don't really understand. The doctor's project is of uttermost importance. No need to understand the full complexity of everything that he says. We can't stay, then. Let our new recruit handle the situation. Me? Wait a second, I still can't fly the ship straight! You heard Mr. Shiro, take that civilian to the station for a blood test by force if required. Alright, hold your engine. Shooting people wasn't part of the job description. I'll make you answer to the doctor if you refuse to do your job, Henderson. There they go. Hey, 
Ow, dude. Hey, relax. What a glorious first day at work. My wife told me to reject this offer, but a job's a job. You're going to have to follow me to the station for a standard quarantine procedure. If you won't comply, I'll have to use force. Um, nobody needs to know, dude. Your persuasion techniques are too primitive. Begging like this isn't going to help. Prepare yourself. Am I about to get annihilated? Oh, no, dude. I think I might be about to get murdered. Oh, no, dude. He fired a missile at me. How could you? Here, lock onto him. Yeah, lock onto his ass right there. Yeah, get him with the lasers. Get him with the... Yeah, take that, Henderson. Your wife will nary again see you. Ow, dude! My wife will nary again see me. I've been hit with a missile. It stings! I'm thinking my gun is overheated, although the missiles seem to be easy enough to dodge. Yeah, just stay on him. I think we're like... I think we're like scrubbing this dude up right now. I think this guy's legit having, like, a rough time. Oh, no, dude. I ran out of laser juice. There we go. My wife was right. I do totally suck. Whoa, dude. It sounds like your relationship has some really unhealthy tendencies. Like, maybe you should talk about that instead of going to space. Just a thought. I'm not trying to be negative right now. Did I level up? Ooh, I did. I got a pilot license. Nice. Apparently, I'm licensed. That's a good thing to know. Having your paperwork in order is always an important part of space exploration and adventure. Alright, so now that we've landed, apparently I've got to go to Zopa's greenhouse. So let's go take a look at the hydrangeas and see if anything else is going on. Balderdash, I don't believe it one bit that Mr. Shiro can bite my wrinkled ass. I agree. No comms, no radar, nothing's working since those guys came down on us. And most of the colonists want to leave after this incident. Additionally, that idiot Chandros is inciting a lot of hysteria. Right now, he's at Teal's infirmary making a fool of himself. Damn him to Earth. He's been causing a lot of problems lately. What are you talking about? What's going on here? I think I just ran into a guy named Mr. Shiro. You did? You always leave me behind, dude. Be thankful they didn't shoot you. Put their ships down right on top of us. Mackenzie almost got squashed. Upset him from the start. Then they went on about some kind of sickness spreading and forced everybody to do some blood tests. Mackenzie declined. He didn't believe Caducci as one bit. Most colonists seemed to agree with him. Then one of the guards shot him. Are you kidding? Is he alive? He's alive and well. Teal's taking care of him. These guys are nothing more than thugs, if you ask me. Can I do anything to help? For now, we don't really know anything. The first thing we need to do is get some information about what's going on out there. Kaduki has planned some kind of drones around orbit to prevent us from using communication and radar. We need to get rid of them before we can do anything else. There's a lot of pirates out there only waiting for an opportunity like this. Yeah, well. Destroy all three Kadukius drones that are jamming the signals. They come back and visit me at Auxilium's workshop. You got it? Sounds like a plan. Let's go. We got our first mission. All right, man. I am spacefaring. Let's go do the... Hey, there's another spaceship right there. Is it a happy spaceship or is it a mean spaceship? Sometimes... Oh, there's one over here. Hold on. I'm going to go murder it. There we go. We'll lock. Hey, lock on. There you go. Strafe him with bullet fires to the face. Oh, we got 15 XP, dude. RPG mechanics. All right. Let's go over this way. Do I have like a thrump... Like, do I have like a jump thruster or anything? Like what if I what if I want to break out my my sexy boosters, impress the ladies in space a little bit, huh? What if I what if I want to do some what if I want to do some like you know some barrel rolls like Slippy said? There we go. All right, so we knocked out all their little signals that are locking down the plant. Wait, what was that? Are those items? What is that? Hold on. What is that? What is that right there? Oh, dude, it's loot. I didn't even realize there was loot on the ground. Hold on. On the figurative ground, okay? We're playing a game that's in 2D, so technically there's loot on the ground. All right? I could say, like, ooh, there's loot in the vacuum, and you'd be like, oh, God, there's, there's, there's loot in the three-dimensional multiverse or whatever. But I feel like just saying there's loot on the ground is faster, all right? Don't judge me. Ben, I've had enough of Chandra's hysterics. I need to get to the bottom of this, and I can't work with him looking over my shoulder and complaining all the time. Sorry, Teal. He's the most sensitive idiot I know. I'm going to try to take him off your back as soon as I'm finished up here. Hey, your back's buddy. Good news? Yep, got the drones. You're right. It looks good. Communications are back online. Radar's back, too. Great job. 
It seems Kaduki has placed a lot of these drones around the system. It can't hurt to take them all down if you ask me. I still don't know what that Gatami flew, but placing those drones, that accident with Mackenzie, shutting us off from outside communication, I mean, the whole act is just kind of messed up. Listen, we need some favors from you to keep things running here. Yep, I need to prepare a blood test for the entire colony. If you can, go to the ISA outpost on Nyx and ask for a blood test kit. It's not necessary, but it could be really helpful later on to know if there's really an infection. Alright, cool. There's another problem. Like I thought, Vasquez and his men are preparing an attack since our systems went offline. We're defenseless for, or defenseless for right now. I need you to visit Cameron at Griefswald Station. He's got some defense turrets. We need to place those all around Pluto. He still owes me a favor. Tell Cameron if he gives you the turrets for free, I'll forget out that one time with Sharon. He may need some persuasion, though. Alright, three defense turrets. I'll keep that in mind. Okay. So got a couple of jobs we got to play around with. This whole Kaduki is business pretty messed up if you ask me. Nowadays, you never know what kind of maniacs you meet in outer space. I can repair your ship and sell you some weapons. There's a lot of pirates around, so keep an eye on your shield and health bar. And don't forget, some weapons can also be upgraded with specific materials, so it might be worth it. Anything you want? Yeah, let me see what's going on. Well, apparently I don't have any monies. I'm kind of poor right now, so I've got 400 credits, but I would need like... You know, I would need quite a few more before before I'd be able to purchase any of these sundries that they are currently keeping in this location. Oh, dude, they're fighting over here. Hold on. What? Dude, they're like vaporizing. Ow, dude! They're like vaporizing each other. Are they going to try to hurt me? Hey, what's going on, guys? How you doing? Just hanging out in space? Did you just shoot at the space rock? He's apparently shooting at the space rock. I'm going to go about my business. What is this over here? Griefswald Station, and then get the blood test kit on Nyx. All right, so we'll put the autopilot on, and we will go to Nyx. I don't see anything else in my inventory right now, aside from that aluminium and iron. Uh, what's up, man? I'm the last working staff on the ISA outpost. They just don't even care anymore. I just hope they don't forget to pay me. Recently, the ISA discovered some strange object outside the Kuiper Belt back in Tannenhauser Research Station. That's what it's all about now. All right, well, I need a blood test kit. Teal and a blood test kit? I mean, no problem. That's what I'm here for. The ISA is distributing these things for free anyways. Here you go. You can have this one. Thanks a lot. You got any other jobs or anything? Don't know, but it's big and in pieces. At least that's what I've heard. What's this? It's far away, but that's where all the hot stuff is happening right now. Alright, what do you have for goods? You've got an Ampix 13, some ampicillin that will treat bacterial infections. Okay. We've got first aid kits and we've got painkillers. So it appears as though there's going to be like intergalactic trade and whatnot too, so that'd be pretty sweet. I like fly- I love space trucking, alright? I'll be- I'll space truck all day long. Now let's head on over to here. We got our autopilot all locked in, and we'll kind of see what happens over on this side. Well, so far, not a lot going on as I drift through space. It seems to be mostly okay out here. It's kind of a large, threatening-looking ship with, like, a clock on the side of it. What do we have going on here? Welcome to the market on Griefswald. My name is Cameron, and I'm in charge of our mining equipment. How can I help you? Hey, Ben from Pluto sent me. We need a pack of defense turrets. Ben, that stupid crook. He hasn't said hi for years. What does he need now? Defense turrets for his lousy colony? You tell him the comradeship is always willing to lend a hand, but we're not a charity organization. Of course, you can pay for it if you got the money. Ben said it sounded like you owed him a favor. I don't owe Ben anything. He's always angry about some shit I didn't even do. Listen, he told me that he'll forget about that one time with Sharon. You're playing the guilt card? That's not going to work with me. All right, well, he won't give us the turrets, so we're going to have to figure that out the hard way. Uh, obviously, you can't help me is the main problem for right now. Apparently, there's visitors, too. Interesting. Okay, what do you have for metals? Like, do you have anything that's, like, tradable? Um... All of his stuff is either overpriced or not at all. I suppose I could sell some aluminum or something. I don't know, dude. It said I should hold on to that to upgrade my weapons. Well, damn, I flew all the way over here for no reason at all. 
Stop, hold, rewind. You, 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 right there, civilian. I'm from Caducius. Did you destroy our satellites around Pluto? They're part of an important project. We're trying to contain the Ganymede flu, you know. I'm innocent. I said a hold, not story hour. When I need lies, I talk to my supervisor. Thanks, but no thanks. I mean, I didn't do it, though. Sorry, you're not persuasive enough. Yeah, that's like a big death ship, dude. Nope, don't like this. Don't like this. Okay, let me get... Let me... Let me... Oh my god, he's leading me. He's a champion. His bullets also appear to, like, spin out after a certain amount of distance. Dude, did that other ship try to jump in and help? What a champ, dude. What a champ! Shoot this guy up! Shoot him up! Yup! There it is, there it is, there it is! Got him! Wait till the doctor gets a hold of you. Hold on, wait till I get a hold of your loot. Hold on, what is that right there? What's that What's that right there? Let me get it. Let's see here. We've got a CAD support gun. What's a CAD support gun? What does that do? So we've got a CAD support gun. If you start working at Caducius, you'll get one. Oh, I have two guns now. I like the customization over here, too. Interesting. We've got trash, but I don't know if I want the... Oh, we have the two guns now. And it looks like they heat up independently from one another. Nice, dude. I'm a dangerous man now. I'm not playing around. I got the I got the guns akimbo rolling through space, sliding over the hood of your space Cadillac and just bop 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 bop. Light off that rat -a tat and hop in the Cadillac. Burn some long rubber on those homies we get it at. To quote Mac Dre. Anyways, let's head on back to Pluto. I get the feeling that aside from regurgitating rap verses from the 90s. We've got better stuff to do. All right, there's your infirmary. Somebody said, somebody in the colony could be sick. Right now it's maybe just one or two, but by spring it could be all of us. Don't you get that, Teal? I already told you, Chandra, so I'm preparing a blood test for everyone and we'll see about it. I'm sick and tired of your hysterics and they're not going to get us anywhere. You're just one doctor that Mr. Shiro looked so official, and that Mr. Shiro looked so official. Kadukia seems to be a big organization with a lot of high-tech equipment. I bet they know what they're doing. You're not even listening, and what are you trying to say? Just one little doctor. The ISA provided this place with up-to-date equipment. No offense, Teal, but there could be something in our blood that your ISA tech and science just isn't even recognizing. Something new. We don't know. It's useless talking to you. I mean, there's an epidemic at our front door, and you're all getting ready to fight the guys with the cure. I'm leaving. Hey, it's you, Splatty. Did you get the blood test kit? Yep. He's just afraid. I don't think he's made for living in a colony like this. He's a hypochondriac, and if he gets a tiny headache, it's red alert, you know? He's blowing things out of proportion all the time anyways, but thank you for the blood test kit. I'm going to start testing people in the infirmary. If you could help me out by distributing these test files among the colonists, it'd be appreciated. All right. Pudding! Okay, apparently pudding is the most important thing. Mackenzie lies on one of Teal's hospital beds. His left leg is bandaged and there's some blood. Mechanical parts are lying around and he seems to be asleep. Mackenzie's eyelids are twitching. His body looks like he could use the rest. Maybe, maybe this is not the colony right here. Maybe I'm inside like an infirmary. A guy with a number on his cheek. Lies on one of Teal's hospital beds. He has some bandages around his head and he's breathing slowly. He seems to be asleep. Who's this? Uh, what? Did you say something? I was sleeping. Sorry, I was talking to myself. Now I'm awake. What do you want to know? Who's this guy? He's from the Sphere. Teal brought him here right after the soldiers landed in the colony. He was hurt and unconscious, and I think he and his brother crashed on Pluto not long ago. The Sphere? The Sphere is colonizing outer regions of the system. You can recognize Sphere people by their number tattoo on their face. His name is Kim Moon. He should be in the colony. Interesting. All right. Let me see what I got here. Oh, there's the colony. Gotcha. Ah, Splatty. You believe in this? Maybe an epidemic on our front door, and they're getting ready to fight off the guys with the medicine. This would have never happened back at home. Give me a blood sample. Would I mind? Of course I might. I just told you I don't believe what Teal says. If she was up to this, she would have known about the Ganymede flu in the first place. It's not going to hurt to take the blood test. Listen, you don't even know what you're talking about. Have you read the Caducius brochure? You see the pictures? Teal's not going to change what's coming. We should cooperate with them. 
Listen. Mackenzie was complaining about not getting in line. Kadukius takes this stuff serious, you know. It's his fault for getting in the way. Alright, whatever, dude. By the Redeemer. The fates cursed this colony because of Zopa's rotten robot. She even gave that machine a name, the Sacrilege. Now the Ganymede flu is coming to make us pay for this sin. Do you see what's happening, my friend? Time is a circle. Listen, give me a blood sample. Keep the robot away from me. There we go. How many blood test vials do I have? This is outrageous. I came here to make a profit. Maybe get a small shop running, but I get slapped in the face by some wannabe doctors. I'll take Earth's corruption and pollution over this crap any day. At least I can make some money there. Got a blood test. Kaduki's already forced me to give my blood, and that's enough for one day. I'm not interested in your test, and I'm leaving, so who cares? We need a second opinion. I don't care. I'm busy packing. Giving up more blood is only going to slow me down. Listen, it would be for your own good to get your blood checked, just to be sure. I know I'm healthy. I'm not sick, and no test is going to prove otherwise. Leave me alone. Fine, if you get a fever out there and start crashing into asteroids, don't blame me. Hey, Splatty, you know what happened? My husband's already packing our things together. We're trying to leave as soon as possible. We're better off paying our proxy back on Earth some protection money than risking our lives out here. Uh, can I get a blood sample? Of course. Teal's a wonderful doctor and helps a lot to know we're not infected already. Uh, can I get one from your son? There we go. Perfect. So we got one from the kid. We got one from her. Uh, we can still make this work. Sam's convinced that we're not safe here anymore. Poor Mackenzie already got hurt. My family is most important to me. If we don't feel safe here, we can't stay. Yeah, I guess if people don't want it to work, people don't want it to work. That's all for now. I'm just here doing... Just doing nonsense work. Hey, Splatty, you're back from your test flight, huh? Sorry, I don't have a lot of time right now. Me and my family are leaving the colony after this whole incident. We're planning to go back to Earth. I don't mind the corruption and pollution there if we have to handle things like Caduceus. Want to do me a favor? I need a blood sample. There we go. What favor? I need to know if we can get back in our old district on Earth. It's overpopulated, even though it's not a good place to live. There's a guy named Prescott on the FTA Samson who should have some living permits to sell. You need official alliance permits to get a place on any alliance planet. If you go ask him uh, before he runs out of permits while me and my family are packing things together? Yeah, sure, why not, man? I got nothing better to do. Hey, my parents want me to leave. I liked it here, but Dad says the bad guys are even worse than the bad guys back on home. All right, and then we've got Zhao. I'm worried about Jurgen. Since my last visit to Ganymede, we've always kept contact, but he didn't write back after my last letter. Heard what Kaduki has said, and Chandras is telling everybody the epidemic is coming for us. Just hope Jur or Jurgen is not sick or worse. Let me get a blood test real fast. Uh, let's see here. Would you do that? Ganymede's pretty far, but if you get there by chance, maybe take my next letter with you? Yeah, for sure. There we go. Letter for Jurgen. I don't know if I have everybody's stuff. How many of these vials do I have? Three vials left, so apparently I'm missing somebody. Out of the frying pan and into the fire. My brother's son and me landed straight here when before Kaduki's paid a visit. Engine troubles ran into pirates. Son got hurt and your Dr. Teal's taking care of him for now. As soon as he wakes up, we need to get on our journey to Hokucho. Uh, can I get a blood sample? There we go. Alright, what do you know about Caduceus? First time I met him. Never heard of him. I guess thugs like that don't dare to visit a sphere planet. Alright. Alright, man. So what makes you so sure about Caduceus? Did you read the brochure? It's really well made. Alright, well, let me see... All right, there we go. I finally worked through his conversation tree. Apparently, he's in intense pain all the time, and that's why he's such a grumpy pants. So anyways, I got to go and find him some painkillers. What happened? No, I won't talk. Why not? He seems uncomfortable and ignores you. Okay. I think we should have two vials left. Yeah, one for that guy, and then we've got one for Chandra's. All right, so we've got stuff we got to take care of here. Uh, as I recall, didn't we want to go to that TSA station to get the painkillers? I don't know. Maybe there's something right here. There we go. I got the painkillers from Teal. So we should be able to take this back now and give them to Chandra's. Got the meds? My headache's really acting up. You only get the blood sample if you bring me the painkillers. All right, I got your meds, dude. 
There we go. You're the first one listening to me. No one wanted to help me out. It's gonna take care of my headache ASAP. I'm willing to give you my sample now. Cool. All right, who's this Eric Stoltz guy? So that's the last guy that I need a sample from, I think. Yeah, I got one vial left and I need it from Stoltz, but I don't know how to get it from him. Well, we can track down those living permits. So let's do that first. Let me save though real quick while I'm in the neighborhood. All right, game saved. So I need to go down. That's probably our guy right over here. Let's fly down that way and see if we can do anything here. I might be able to knock some asteroids out of the way, too. It looks like some of the asteroids have, like, stones on them. Like, look, they've got, like, little crystals and things. Sort of makes you wonder if you can mine this stuff. I think we're definitely going to need some better weapons if we want to run a mining operation. But the rock is cracking up and falling apart right now. And it seems possible to me that we might end up with some... Oh, yeah, there we go. Oh wow, three aluminum and some tritium. Nice, dude. Is that worth anything? Like, what is that stuff right there? Is it worth anything? Oh, the tritium is worth a grip. That's worth 25 bucks. I gotta get the 500 bucks together for the for the defense turrets because that dude won't give them over. There's a destroyed ship down here we can salvage too. I'll grab all of that. Apparently picked up a bunch of space trash along. What is that? Oh, it's a Caduceus drone. Hold on, let me kill it. There we go. Apparently, it's kind of like a little collectible items quest, so you just find Caduceus drones around and wipe them out. XP is XP. I'm not going to complain about it, dude. XP is XP, and I don't think like we've leveled up. Or oh, we did get level two. That's pretty sweet. Permanently increase pedal to the floor to level one. Okay, so we got different skills all over the place here. We've got the Auxilium tree. Yeah, let's go with Persuasion. My Persuasion level's been kind of bad lately. And we're doing the Auxilium Tree anyways, so I get the feeling we should probably just do that. Maybe that point will allow us to get the turrets from that one grumpy dude halfway across the galaxy. Who knows? It says this guy's my enemy, but I don't know why he's my enemy. Is it because he's a pirate? Is that what it is? Do what you want, because a pirate... Oh, he's dead now. It's a bad day to be a pirate, huh? I don't know. He didn't even try to fight back, dude. He was. Just, it said he was my enemy. What am I supposed to do? I trust the computer, man. Transhumanism and all that. The computer said he was my enemy, therefore I had to murder him. Uh, we appear to have other issues right now. Yeah, let's maybe waste this guy real fast and then also loot his tritium. Oh, it's strontium. Even better. Dude, this seems like a pretty fertile area for me to, like, gather materials from and, like, make some money. I'm not trying to be greedy or anything, but we're kind of poor right now. I'm having a lot of fun with this, though. This game is called Gaia Beyond. I hope you guys liked it. Uh, I've really enjoyed the dialogue so far, and like I'm actually kind of looking forward to like exploring the galaxy and getting a little bit further on into this thing. I'm the kind of person that ends up just like space mining a lot of the time, though, too. So, you know, it seems like that's an option. I'll see y'all later. Thank you for being here. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you leave a like on it. Check the game out down below in the description. So far, I haven't really found anything to complain about. It's kind of like a an accelerated version of a lot of the other top-down games. I mean, if you enjoyed something like Spaz, you, you'll probably like this game. They seem to be somewhat similar. So anyways, I'll see y'all next time. Thank you for being here. Take care, everybody, and I'll be back tomorrow with something hot and fresh off that indie skillet.